This is a story of a Utah pioneer, a man who foresaw a better way of doing things and had the courage to do something about it. Reuben Lavelle Edwards was born in Orem, he graduated from Lincoln High School, and played for the Utah State Aggies as a 165-pound offensive lineman. Why Utah State and not BYU? Well, Lavelle said, if I'd gone to the Y, I'd have had to live at home. And if I'd been living at home, my job would have been milking the cows. I was sick of those two darn cows. I'd have gone to Utah to get away from them. Well, maybe not Utah, but I wanted to get away. After college, he coached the single wing at Granite High School, an offense designed to do everything but pass. He joined the BYU staff as a defensive assistant in 1962 and became head coach 10 years later. Lavelle said BYU hired him because they were one of the last teams to run the single wing, and I think I was the last living Mormon who knew anything about that offense. Once he was given the head job, Lavelle made his move. He turned BYU away from the single wing for the forward pass, and the game of football has never looked back. They're all gone now, Lincoln High School, Granite High, the single wing, and 165-pound offensive lineman. And now the coach is gone too. But what remains will live forever. Most important to the coach, aside from Patty and their family, are their relationships. He relished in the development of young men who walk through his door, Mormon or not, return missionary or not, players with challenges or those without. He loved them all unconditionally. He was humble enough to recognize he didn't know everything and smart enough to hire the people who do. He listened to them. It was an assistant coach that suggested Lavelle give Steve Young a shot at quarterback when the coach had him earmarked for defense. And then there was the winning, lots of it. 257 victories over 29 seasons, sixth most in the history of college football, 27 straight non-losing seasons, 17 straight bowl games, providing some of the golden moments in BYU history, the 1984 undefeated season and national championship. Two-time National Coach of the Year, he coached a Heisman Trophy winner, and in 2004, Lavelle himself was inducted into college football's Hall of Fame. Perhaps the most appropriate finish to his illustrious career was an improbable come-from-behind victory at Utah in his final game. Lavelle said, as a youngster in Orem, I used to follow BYU football regularly often while perched in one of the orchard trees adjoining the practice field. My ambition was to be a coach. Now, instead of a cherry tree, the coach can look down from the heavens into a stadium that bears his name and watch another young dreamer, a former player, carry on his legacy for years to come. Lavelle Edwards, gone but never forgotten.